Okay, today is May 30th, 2013, and this uh, particular zucchini is my second harvest. Um, I'll probably do that in the afternoon after I water the plant, the zucchini plant. It's getting bigger and it's perfect for harvesting. And on the same plant, we have three more female zucchini flowers that's coming up. There's one. That one here is a female. And it's going to become just like the zucchini that you see here. There is another one. There's two. And there is another one somewhere in here I saw. Let me see, right here, this one, that's a female, and I see it's a female because it has a, a fatter body. And here's another, um, the zucchini that's coming out now, the flower has opened up, and I've um, pollinated it a little earlier this morning. That's the zucchini. This is better. I pollinated that inside here. There's a little ants. And then there's another one here. Okay, no, this one is a future one. And somewhere else in here. Well, anyway, I will show you another zucchini of mine um, <clears throat> on the way over there I'll show you I have I have all oh, these tomatoes from the last time from my previous uh, video that I showed these are all the tomato seeds that I uh, just gather all in one corner um, from my previous from my last harvest uh, back in December, um, these are the ones that got rotten because I couldn't, uh, I couldn't eat it all. I couldn't. Uh, I made enough uh, salsa and made enough use of all of them. These are just the leftovers. Well, they started sprouting, and they're getting bigger and undercrowded. And I have, unfortunately, pulled them all out once already, and they're back again because there's more in here. There's more that is going to grow. This is one of the beans. That's another tomato. Bigger. That's my thyme. Here's tomatoes. Here's beans. Another beans. It's my tomato. And this one already have flour. That means that's a uh, tomato coming up. Tomato. Another tomato. And the beans. And these beans. I've already harvested a few here. And here's more coming up. Beans. And these are the other tomatoes that are just growing wild here because of the seeds from all the tomatoes that were uh, produced in this particular area last year and all those tomatoes that over ripen on the on the plant itself just fill out and they're scattered all over so I had to uproot a lot of them but this one I'm leaving I'm hoping that it will start fruiting soon and I'm letting it grow wild meaning I'm not pruning it this one right here I had to keep pruning because I want it to stand tall and bear fruit that way um, because I was worried that it might grow everywhere and branch out everywhere and take up a lot of space that would uh, cover the, uh, the beans I have next to it and so in order for me to do that I had to keep pruning it take up the branches the suckers and uh, 
I'm actually tying it with the yarn right now. Here's another bean. And um, on the other side, I actually have also a lot of beans. Oh, these are the flowers. You know, you can eat those flowers, but I don't have enough for it to make good. Here's another zucchini that's just going right now. Here's some beans. I have more beans on this side. My bougainvillea that have died because um, it got cold. I cut them down all the way to the ground. Now it's back. And these are my beans. More beans on the side of the fence. More beans. There's another bougainvillea that I did the same thing. Here's another. Um, this is zucchini coming up. And there should be more in here, but it hasn't come out yet. And here's another bougainvillea. On this side, I planted um, some thyme. I have three thymes in there right now. My goal is for that to cover this corner of the yard because for some reason it doesn't get enough sun in there. So my parsley, I have two parsley here. This one right here and another one on that corner. Um, I've already cut down to the ground because last two I've had it for two years. Oh, I'll take it back. I've had it for a year. But anyway, I have. I'm trying to uh, grow this. This is um, pepper, bell pepper. I used to have on this area right here. I used to have the cucumber growing in here and I tell you it grow and bear fruit lots of fruit for me and I canned it I pickled them so anyway because I thought I could use, still use some of the area because those other ones that you can see right now are thyme that's one two three and it's going to spread all over this area so I don't want to plant a lot of vegetables in here it will only crowd it and here I notice is my beans coming out here's another beans this is my marigolds and on this the rest of this area by the way also I have marigolds hoping that it will grow and keep the bugs out but these are some of the marigolds that is already out I have more beans here and I have more pepper these are peppers and I have more tomatoes and here is my parsley and this is one other time hopefully it will come back it died but it will come back I have that feeling and I have zucchini on this I have another zucchini here and this is parsley and this is the parsley flowers I cut up a little plant and I'll show you this other zucchini that I have I'm about to harvest also maybe by maybe hopefully by next day because it's not big enough for me yet to uh, harvest it. Well, there's another one here, or two actually. There's two females. When I say female, females are the future zucchini. And here is one, and here is another. Okay, and Here's my base I've been trying to grow. It's growing very slow, but it looks like it's going to survive. I need to have a lot of basil because I use it a lot for pasta. It's good for 
um, if you wanna uh, make caprese pasta caprese I should say and here are the uh, pepper peppers green peppers that I showed you from my last video and here is one of that tomato it's now bigger than the last time so hopefully uh, things will be much better on my next video thank you for watching